Going. Go over the hill. Oh! Hey, do that again, and that, that'll be the thumbnail right here. Do it again. Yeah, welcome back to the channel, Old Party Mouth Pies. Oh. What you are you are witnessing? This is the one that's on the spray rig video. This is the 200E. The only problem it has is the uh, chain and the sprocket. But other than that, they're all right. There goes the girlfriend. There goes the old hillbilly himself. Yeah, go over there. I'm gonna try and get me a good thumbnail. Right. We got the old YZ over there. Oh my God. I'm about to make a video on it sometime. It looks like it's on fire. Hey, not too, not too bad, not too bad. If you ride it just right, the chain won't come off. Yeah. You got, you got to stay in it. Cause like if you're in high gear and downshift your heart, will throw it off. Man. Let's assess the damage here. No, there ain't no damage. No damage? No. I think the back tires are a little low. Chain is holding on surprisingly. Yeah. It's got to go. Oh, I know it does. I think it's bad. So does that though. <laughs> Tell me, what do y'all think? Should we make a little dirt racing track sometime out there on the Ford farm? Like, what should we do? It's having so much fun. <laughs> yeah, so here's the uh, good old Ford truck from last time. You know, the old differential is done. She's done. So we're not riding her today. You ain't even watching. So that one's getting rode. That one's not. That one's getting rode. And that one's getting rode. What do you think? Hey, where'd you get them glasses? Where'd you get them? Yep. We just got back from Bristol Motor Speedway to watch the uh, Bristol 1000, Clear some cars, you name it. And uh, go check out that video. Be sure to leave a comment if you don't. I don't care. But uh, we're about to go rip on some trails. Hopefully, I'll get. I might video the rest of this. I might not. We'll just get some insane content. We might get Lane dying today. I mean, you know his his nipple. His nipples halfway hanging out. Yeah. Yeah, get in on that. Oh, hey, this is kid friendly now. You can make it up there. Put it in low. You can make it up that. One in the, in the 1984 200ES. I just don't want to see the straight up. It'd be alright. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, it's alright. Yeah, reverse. <laughs> okay, reverse. Hey, do y'all want to shine over here so y'all can video me doing donuts again? Hey, where's my girlfriend? Come here, darling. Don't send her too hard. That's a nice three wheeler. Here, let me try. Let me try.
insane. That was hilarious. I thought y'all were going to dump right off the back. That's insane, bro. That well, that that's funny stuff right there, wasn't it? Dude, I thought they were gone. Like when they rolled back, I thought they were done. That was hilarious. We're gonna try and come back tomorrow, maybe not. We'll continue this video in the daytime. So uh, stay tuned. See you in a couple Yeah. All right, boys and girls, what are we doing? Riding three wheelers in your dirt bike. Yeah, just got done riding the, the YZ 250, and here comes Lane. Here, let me see. Start it, boat. What is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Revive Flipper Restore. And today, or tonight, actually, it's it's dark out. We got the old cherry picker engine hoist crane, whatever y'all want to call it. We got it out here today, and uh, we're working on my 1984 200M. Sorry for the shakiness. My buddy that has been i don't think he's been on the channel yet he's been on my hunting channel but um he has seizures really bad and uh so we went through with the ride didn't think much of it and he he wrecked it of course which i was not mad about but as you can as you can tell this back axle is bent pretty good this side is not but it's just it's done so i have a parts bike over here uh, I got a couple of parts bikes. This is an 82 uh, 200E, and the rear end out of it, I'm going to change the sprocket. That sprocket's going on my other 200E, but this rear end can interchange with these. I'm pretty sure. Oh, and this three-wheeler, it, uh, y'all have seen it before on this channel. It, uh, my Cherokee friend, Lanny, he, uh, this is his favorite three-wheeler. But just check this out for for those of you that are new i just i have to show this off about this third wheeler every time look how immaculate look at that that is just straight beauty like you don't you, can't, you don't find that in these machines very much anymore but uh yeah i've been out here just working away on this thing and uh yeah so I've got some other footage I might just lap this into, or this might just be a build series in itself. This is a this is a fairly rough machine. It's not a it's not the best I have. It's one of the fastest I have, but uh, it's most definitely uh, pretty rough. It uh, let me just show you. Got the wheels off. I'm taking a. It didn't hurt the rims, so that's good. I'm taking it to one of my buddies to get new well new used tires on it but as you can tell she leaks oil it's one of my it's one of my most reliable ones i have and it's a very good rider and uh that's the thing man i'll ride this thing till she blows up or just you can't beat these old hondas man it's just it's amazing yeah i uh i have yet to buy a yamaha three-wheeler i would just uh they're kind of a little more rare just because you know people ran more hondas because they were just reliable but uh, oh, we got some here. This is from the wreck when he hit. Yes, he is fine, by the way. I'll have him on this channel sometime and explain what happened. But it's got brand new grip, handle grips. It's got a brand new choke cable. Carburetor's been rebuilt, but I, it's, uh, it's still kind of rough. It's like I said, it's one of my rough riders, but it is one of the nicest one I, nicest ones I have. But yeah, these tires on impact, they, uh, they popped. Oh, we'll get to that beast later. Comment down below if I should make a video of this bike. I'm going to, but how many of y'all want to see it? That's the thing. We gotta, we gotta get the viewers entertained. So, uh, yeah, I uh, actually I wanted to address that I went to Bristol Motor Speedway and uh, went and seen Cletus McFarlane and Vice Grip Garage and all that. And actually, the video has got quite a bit of views. It's got like 33k. As of right now, so that's pretty good. And uh, 
I thank y'all a lot. So any of y'all new subscribers, welcome to the channel. My name's Elijah, and I'm the host of this show. It's just a bunch of cringy stuff, bunch of work that we do, and just tear stuff up, fix it, revive, flip, or destroy. This right here is a, uh, well, it used to be destroyed. Now it's restored. I'm sorry. I'm used to saying destroy. We used to have this channel named at the very end destroy because we were going to do stuff almost kind of like a whistle and diesel vibe, but not, you know, we just... And it costs a lot of money. We all just don't work that great of jobs. I mean, I work a very good job now, but it is what it is. But I put restore because I have a 1979 F100 Ranger that I'm restoring. So that right there will be really good content. I'll get it on the channel sometime. But most most of the time, I just focus on my three-wheelers and my bike and just other stuff like that. And uh, that's about it. I guess you could say this is, a, this is more like a revive because it, this thing... This thing's been sitting for probably two or three months. Just freaking mosquitoes, man. Tennessee, Tennessee's weather, let me tell you something. Comment down below if you live in Tennessee. This, this freaking mosquitoes are horrible, man. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna, gonna quit rambling and welcome all you new subscribers. I've been seeing that I've gained a whole bunch. Uh, as you can tell, I don't have any fancy shop. I mean, I literally had this little meth head lean to with this little crackhead trailer and a freaking heroin addict of a cherry picker and it's just you know the shop the shop's a dirt floor and sometimes the roof leaks but other than that we're gonna get through it you know you got to start from the bottom work your way up to get anywhere in life so uh thank y'all so much for watching this is a update on my 200m i will most definitely be posting more videos on it but as of right now i'm waiting to get the new tires for it i'll make a video of swapping the rear end i just wanted to do kind of a little update video after bristol but uh like i said thank y'all so much for all the support and Welcome any new subscribers, comment down below if you're new and you want to see more videos and more three-wheeler content or if comment down below if you want to see different content like that right there, you know, that's going to be good dirt bike content. Comment down below if you want to see like some sketchy three-wheeler races or us build an obstacle course and, wreck, you know, run these things, jump them and do what else because I really want to do a three-wheeler race. That's why I have seven right now. My goal is to get to ten so we can at least have ten riders in this little makeshift, you know race thing it's nothing professional just something that friends can get together and do but i don't know just something just trying to get out there and grow the channel so comment down comment down below what you think about any other video this video this is just a little quick update a little short video thank y'all so much for watching and we'll see y'all in the next one okay guys well <clears throat> i stayed out here a little after i ended the video just a few minutes ago and uh yeah so we've got a pretty good looking sprocket how it should look the one on my 83 200e was awful how these are standing straight up they look like shark fins on the other one but i uh, just got the chain popped off and you can just really see her yeah she's she's a dunion so um i need i have to go run by harbor freight and get a pair of snap ring pliers because mine fell apart and uh we'll have this little snap ring off and the sprocket will come off and then we'll take the bolt out and take this back shield off chain guard and then uh four bolts and undo the brakes and uh she should be coming out pretty soon but uh yeah it's just a little update for y'all so like i said be sure to like subscribe and i will uh keep posting updates on this uh rebuild i guess i'm not gonna get fancy with it i'm just gonna get it back together and make it to where we can ride it because this is a this is still a really nice really nice bike so it's a shame for it to just sit here so be sure to like, subscribe. See y'all in the next.